Mary, she will come here to present babe for baptism by water and the oil of the Holy Spirit. She is to receive the gift of new life from God with love. On your kind, we must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin and grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism, reject sin, confess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which made Francis Do you, all of us can be new our lives, uh, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do. do you reject Satan, the father of sin, the prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? Who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith, this is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The appearances in your will. May Francis should be baptized in the faith of the church we have all professed with. Okay, got your camera ready? Okay, now, if you get up sort of behind there, they can get, get pictures of this, I think. Watch your books. Okay. Unstained into the 
receives the light of Christ. My dear parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept very brightly. May Francis has been enlightened by Christ. She is to walk always as a child of the Lord. May she keep the flame of faith alive in her heart, and when the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. May Francis, the Lord made the death May the Lord touch your ears to receive his word, your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise of the Lord God the Father. Amen. Now, my dear friends, May Francis has been reborn in baptism. She is now called a child of God, for indeed she is. In confirmation, she will receive the fullness of God's spirit. In holy communion, she will share in the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God her Father in the midst of the church. In the name of May Francis and the spirit of our common sonship, let us pray together the words that Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers. As they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children, may she bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with you, thanking him forever in heaven, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now God is the giver of all human life, all life human and divine. He bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to faith by what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessing upon all of us here present. May he make us wherever we are faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. And may the peace and the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. Thank Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Oh, it's really a mouth. 